from the green belts of the Serengeti to the Sahara Desert. Africa is music and music. Hey, hey, slow down. Aren't we supposed to start by welcoming our viewers to our channel? Okay then, as you wish, go on. Thank you. Welcome once again to the Steve Ken Guitar Channel. And today's topic is the most amazing and sweet musical instruments that you didn't know were from yes, us. In fact, you will be shocked and amazed to find out that even the world's most popular musical instruments are just a modern version of the traditional African musical instruments that have been developed more. And as you sure, smash the red subscription button below and the notification bell for this amazing channel so that you don't miss any entertaining videos from this channel. Well, 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 as Plato once said, music is our moral. It gives a soul to the universe, wings to the mind, a flight to the imagination, and charm and gaiety to life and everything. In this episode, we are going to explore some of the aspects of the traditional African music and some of the instruments that you are used. As you can see from the video, indeed, the musical instruments are beautiful and the people of Africa themselves, they are beautiful. It is a beautiful continent. And remember, there is evidence that the origin of man or the beginning of mankind may have originated from Africa. So, I wouldn't be wrong to assume that likely music also may have started from Africa. But when we travel back in time, what clues do we find concerning the music of traditional Africa? Stay tuned to the end of this video and you will enjoy yourself. History tells us that musical instruments serve a variety of roles. Some may be confined to religious or ceremonial occasions. Others are used in a more secular fashion for entertainment. There may be restrictions to the age, gender, or social status of the player. The instruments range in size and complexity from handheld objects to large elaborate devices constructed of many parts and even today they are mostly corrupted. Well, as I was saying earlier, Africa is music and our musical instruments are used all over the world to produce sounds that are unique to the continent. From the green belts of the Serengeti to the Sahara Desert, there are musical instruments that have been used for centuries before colonization of Africa. Musical instruments in Africa are not only used for entertainment, they are also used to communicate to both man and spirit. Translating and emitting daily experiences and events they are live. Most widely used and rare musical instruments in Africa are the xylophone, the mbira, the drum, the one string the musical bowl played all over the continent, and now nearly a button was long responsible for all the vocal skills. Well, we are told that even today. The African musical instruments are mostly made or crafted from natural materials using age-old methods. Historical influences and migratory movements of people have defined both the style of music and the type of instrument played in the various regions. Most notable is the influence of Islamic and Arabic musical tradition into the northern and western African countries. Now we are told that there are four main categories of instruments plus percussion. And we begin with the first one, the 
ஐடியோ ஃபோன்ஸ் நான் இவர்ஸ் கிளாஸ் ஐடியோ ஃபோன்ஸ் ஆர் ஆக்டிவேட்ஸ் ஆன் செல்ஃப் சவுண்டிங் ரீசன் ஆன் சோலிட்ஸ் ஆர் டிவைடட் இன் டூ ரிதம் ஐடியோ ஃபோனிக் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட் சாச்சஸ் ஸ்லிட் ட்ராம்ஸ் அஸ் யூ ஹவ் ஆல்ரெடி சீன் ரச்சோல்ஸ் ஷேக்கர்ஸ் scrappers some of which are now showing in the screen clappers bells and gongs that you have been seeing the rounded balls which look like a ball now idiophonic instruments are the easiest to play and to source and construct one of the oldest is the gan kogui a bell instrument played by the eu people of ghana made from forged iron the double bell is gonged with a wooden stick to make a deep resonating sound the basic skeleton of all orchestra xylophones are generally a wooden box with the keys mounted on a wooden frame and guard resonator suspended and the frame can be low to the ground or mounted on some the guards are graduated in size in relation to the pitch required of the wooden slab some xylophones like the amadinda do not have resonators they have a very long history in africa and can be described as a musical imitation a language so so bala is the name given to a xylophone in guinea which is a national treasure having recently been returned from france in 2000 and its 800 year old legacy is being kept by the koye family in guinea reminding the mande people of their religious past which is so dear to them is africans love religion the gun kog is the basis of all played orchestral music that is played in togo ghana and benin bells and rattles have ritual or ceremonial functions as well as just for fun and play Now we are told that rattles and shakers are widely placed all over Africa and exist in a huge variety of shapes, sizes and materials, both natural and man-made. Like using animal gall bladders, leather, baobab fruits, coconut cowrie shells, cork cans, bottle tops as you have already seen, vegetable gourds. bronze bells reeds that is to say whatever can be shaken and rattled indeed this is a work of art shakers or shakers are filled with anything from dried seeds to maize canals to fine pebbles and stones they are primarily made from dried vine gourds there are primary and secondary shakers the primary handheld and secondary are one on various parts of the body like wrists ankles and are activated by the performer indeed as you can see these musical instruments are beautiful although the images may be modern but they are used to exist such musical instruments in the traditional african society and their music was appealing to the ear let alone the decoration that made them so beautiful harps or kundi are one of the main string instruments in africa and these days they are mostly found south of the sahara they are quiet instruments that usually accompany a poet or a singer in storytelling that they are also used in another place. among the pongwe of gabon an eight string umbi harp accompanies a song that is usually played during healing 
of the sick. They have all but disappeared as a practicing instrument from some cultures, such as the Mang Bentu. But are still honored as art pieces for their detailed and intricate carving, the figureheads often depicting royalty. In today's world, we have developed and advanced technologically, and somehow, as some people argue, technology, in as much as it has made our work easier, it has also made us lazy. Because remember, in those days, they had no applications for them to tune their musical instruments, but they used to tune them to accurate level. But today, even me, as I play the piano and the guitar, I haven't mastered the art of tuning by E, but they used to do so. Now, we are told also that the shakers can also be strapped to their instruments to make extra sounds or act as modifiers. Scrappers are notched pieces of bamboo or wood over which a stick is wrapped, as you saw earlier. Now, we move to the second category under ideophones, which is melodic ideophonic instruments such as lamellophones and xylophones. Now, lamellophones, also called linguaphones and thumb piano, include the mbira, which we are going to see in a short while. The mbira or zavanzimu that is now showing on the screen. The nyunga nyunga, the traditional, or the kalimba or karimba, non traditional. Sansa or sansu. Gius hub. Sounds are produced by plucking flexible tuned tongues of metal, wood, cane, or other material attached at one end to a small board or mounted on a resonator, such as a box guy or tin, and plucked with the thumbs or fingers. Simple manual mirrors have six to eight keys, but they can go up to ten. Horns are generally made from carbon, ivory, or from wild animal horn, like the kudu. The most desirable and sought after horn, which is kept for royal occasions. They are side blown in impressive one note blast and are mostly used to announce arrivals or proceedings, or sometimes they are just used for musical events most commonly played in the rift valley countries and of course called divorce most of the instruments under the class of lamellophones and xylophones are usually played by men and boys but increasingly so by females the mbira or zaza Zumu, voice of the ancestors, has more than one layer of tongues. A typical one consists of between 22 and 28 keys, constructed from metal and affixed to a hard wood soundboard in three different registers, two on the left and one on the right. Imagine that. Indeed, those people had brains in those days. Kango Bella is a unique form of music played in the Binga district of Zimbabwe. It is played with an instrument akin to the mbira but with lesser keys in it. A kalimba is a South Africa version of a mbira that is tuned to a western scale but historically it was the name given by the new tribes of Zimbabwe. Xylophones include marimba South and East Africa, balo, or Balafon, West Africa, Baan, Burkina Faso, Amadinda, or Akadinda, Log, Xylophon, Uganda. The Jew is the national instrument of the Lobi and the Gara people of Burkina Faso, Ghana, and the Ivory Coast. With 14 wooden slats, it is played by just about every male in the community to some degree of competence. However, the main musician will spend a lifetime composing and perfecting his play before it is considered worthwhile of addressing the ancestral spirit. A kojil is played at funerals and a at festivals. 
Now we talk about chordophones, some of which are now being shown on the screen. Chordophones or string instruments include harps, musical bowls like the one that you are seeing on the screen, lyres, fiddles, lutes, zippers, and so on. Musical bowls are mostly played in South Africa and include ear bowls, flexible pole in the ground bent with a string attached mouth bowls. The mouth helps in the amplification when struck and the resonator bowls, which have a calabash resonator. Sounds are made by bowing, plucking and striking the string. West Africa, specifically Mali and the Mande people, has many of these harp or lute type instruments, but the most widely known and used is the kora. Traditional koras have 21 strings, 11 played by the left hand and 10 from the right. This instrument is played upright with the strings facing toward the player. Stick and trousers are positioned horizontally. The number of tunable strings on harp vary. Now we speak about decoration of musical instruments. African musical instruments also serve as works of art. Carved into surprising shapes, covered with patterns, and decorated with beads, feathers, or clothes to make them more beautiful. Sometimes figureheads are sculpted onto musical instruments as a spiritual tokens empowering the musician to filter the ancestral messages to pass on to people. Great significance of detail is encountered, such as carefully stitched height covering the soundbox, or deeply edged cloth and decorations that show beards like specific like here. These pieces have been crafted with immense skill. The aesthetics themselves posing a greater importance and sometimes if not more than their musical application. So we are seeing that the number of tunable strings on harps varies from three or four strings such as found on the balloon or molo to seven to eight strings attached to an arch bridge such as on the Cormel um, Great. Now we speak about aerophones. These are wind instruments that include flutes, whistles, reed pipes, trumpets, and horns. Aerophones is any class of musical instruments in which a vibrating mass of air produces the initial sound, including bull roarers and sirens. They are found in many countries throughout Africa and are normally incorporated with dancing, the musicians having to synchronize their footwork along with playing their notes. Whistles are made from reeds, or these days metal tubing while flutes are produced from indigenous bamboo or kin. In countries like Chad, Burkina Faso, Sudan, Uganda and the DRC, cooperative ensembles of over a hundred men, flute players are sometimes formed for special occasions. Each flutist has just one note to play. This allows for strong community performance, each player dependent upon the other for the end result. Now we speak about membranophones. These skin-covered instruments form the heart and beat of African music. They generally come in three forms, hourglass, goblet, and kettle drums as you saw earlier. Percussion now, voice and body instruments include yodeling, whisper singing, body and tube stamping, hand clapping. Percussion is integral to Africa, dance and spiritual music. Multiple players of interlocking rhythmic patterns ensure a vibrant and dynamic performance. The combination of voice and instruments is essential always accompanied by swaying, clapping and dancing. Singing is a major component of musical expression, solo, choral, monophonic, polyphonic, ululating is a long, tremulous and wavering high-pitched sound that is achieved by moving the tongue rapidly from left to right repetitively. It is commonly used in celebrities. Now we speak about band and orchestra. 
Now we are told that a xylophone can be played solo or in ensembles like the Chopi tribe in Mozambique who used up to 30 instruments in their spectacular and complex Tombilla orchestra. All members and generations of the family and all community play together but sadly it's becoming an outmoded form of musical expression. Now as you can see on the screen we have the musical instruments, the pipe duans. Now marimbas are modern xylophones often tuned in western style scale. They come in three pitches, bass tenor, soprano and piccolo. They are taught in schools throughout Africa and both genders play them with up to eight to ten standing musicians hammering it out in joyous and exuberant display. Now, contemporary instruments. Modern African music includes music based on tradition, music fusing Eastern and Western style, and instruments that's world music, and music that is very progressive, embracing technology and the very latest of sounds and beats. Instruments continue to be made and produced in many African countries for the commercial market, like shakers, mbiras, penny, whistles, rattles, barabas. Great, now we have come to the end of our video. The most amazing and sweet musical instruments you didn't know. Yes, let us know what your thoughts are by leaving your comments in the comments section below. And of course like and comment on the video. We would like to hear your opinion. Well then, at this point, we wish you all the best. Bye bye and see you in the next video.